I'm a little late to the party, but this is just incredible as Microsoft has now just released a new model. Allow me to introduce the 5.4 model. 5.4 is an open source 14 billion parameter language model that specializes in complex reasoning tasks, where it delivers high quality results despite its compact size. It's released under the MIT license and it's available for download through Olama, which is something that I'll be showcasing later on into the video. But essentially, this 5.4 model outperforms both comparable and larger models in math as well as reasoning tasks, where it includes surpassing Gemini Pro 1.5 on math competition problems as well as surpassing many others on MMLU like GPT-4 Omni Mini. Its success is actually driven by the use of high quality synthetic datasets which have been meticulously curated through organic data and advanced post-training techniques which result through having 5.4 pushing the boundaries of small language models which redefines what's possible in balancing size and quality because this is a small 14 billion parameter model which is competing against many other models like GPT-4 Omni. Now take a look at this benchmark evaluation test which showcases 5.4 in comparison to many of the other models that you can see over here like Quen 2.5 14B and 72B. You have GPT-4 Omni Mini and the standalone GPT-4 Omni model. And lastly, you have the Llama 3.3 70 billion parameter model. But essentially, you can see that this is a benchmark test which evaluates the models in different categories like MMLU, science, math, code, and many others. But you can see that 5.4 is outpacing many of these different models, especially in math as well as GPQA, which is related to science. But it is also outpacing many of the other models in different categories like MMLU, where it is outpacing the GPT-4 Omni Mini and it is closely coming up to the GPT-4 Omni model. And in other cases, it is beating many of the other open source models that are listed over here, which is just insane because this is a 14 billion parameter model, despite its size, is able to provide the best quality, which is just insane. And this is something that we're going to be showcasing throughout today's video. Now, you can easily get started and chat with this model through Azure AI Foundry, where you can go ahead and find the 5.4 model, and you can easily start chatting within this Foundry that is provided by Microsoft Azure. Or you can go ahead and install these two uh, 5.4 models. You can install the GGUF model or the regular standalone 5.4 model, where you can go ahead and copy the model card, and you can install it with something like Olama or LM Studio. We're going to go ahead and showcase how you can do it with both of these two providers. We're going to start off with LM Studio. If you do not have uh, LM Studio, I'll showcase how you can install it with the link in the description below. But essentially, go ahead and copy the model card and open up LM Studio and paste it into the search tab. Go ahead and search the model up and you are going to be able to find different uh, models under the 5.4 uh, wing and you're going to be able to download different quant sizes. So go ahead and install the one that you think would be right. And once you have installed it, you can go over to the AI chat, load up the model by clicking on this top button to select the model and you can start interacting with it within LM Studio. Now, if you want to use it with Olama, which is another way for you to have most of these models installed locally, you can go ahead and install Olama for your operating system if you do not have it. Once you have it installed, go ahead and open up Olama and make sure it's running in the background. After it is running, you can go over to 5.4's model card through Olama. You can go ahead and copy this Olama run command. And this is essentially the command you can use to simply install the model. So go over to your command prompt, paste in the model or uh, command, and you can enter the command and it's going to start installing this locally. You can use something like Open Web UI to interact with the model and you can locally chat with this. And this is a great way that you can interact with many open source models with the similar OpenAI interface that you would get with ChatGPT. Now, if you want to run this on the web, you can use something like GLHF, which is a way for you to easily run any open source model locally or on the web, sorry. And it's free, so you can easily go ahead and sign up for an account and get started. So once you have signed up, you can then paste in the link to the model that you want to work with. So this is the 5.4. And what we're going to do is click on launch and we're going to be able to start chatting with it within this interface of GLHF chat. So we're going to go ahead and have it assess this integral uh, notation, which is this problem over here. And essentially, 
we're gonna have it see if it's capable of doing uh the process of substitution as well as having the process to find the right problem or the answer of this problem so we can see that it is working on multiple steps to do this which is definitely correct and essentially the correct answer is having uh the x equal to one and have it scaled by the constant so let's see if that is true and you can see right away that it does provide the correct answer which is multiplied by two so this is definitely deemed a pass in terms of mathematical equations in terms of solving these equations next up i'm gonna have it generate a front-end design similar to twitter and essentially i'm gonna have it create the exact same uh, replica of twitter and i'm going to be showcasing a preview of it once i have saved all the different files that it has generated and just look at that we have a pretty cool clone of twitter obviously we have a lot of missing components but we can see that it did a great job in cloning the base aspect of twitter where you can tweet as well as post reactions images and whatnot when you are using twitter but it got the base color scheme right as well as the format right which is definitely quite impressive for a 14 billion parameter model to actually do so we're going to go ahead and assess it on logical reasoning we're going to go ahead and send in this task or this prompt where a detective is solving a case involving three suspects you have alice bob and carol one of them stole a precious artifact but they all make a statement alice says bob didn't do it bob says alice and i are innocent carol says alice did it the detective knows exactly one of these statements is true who stole the artifact so essentially we're going to see if the model is going to be able to identify the rules the only true statement evaluating each suspect's guilt and by testing the truth of their statement so you can see right away that it is working on multiple different avenues of approaching this case so you can see there's three cases that it can come with and right now uh we can see that it assumes alice's statement is true Bob didn't do it. It assumes Bob's statement is true. Alice and I are innocent. And then it assumes Carol's statement is true, where it states that Alice did it. And the model actually outputs the correct answer, where it states that Carol's statement is true, meaning Alice stole the artifact, which is definitely true, because I was able to identify the most likely uh, option, which would uh, use logic. And it didn't overlook any of the rules, it used multiple statements and cases to showcase this and it was able to carefully analyze why carol is not the thief and why alice is actually the true uh thief in this case overall we didn't do a full-on test to assess this 14 billion parameter model but in the three different prompts that i assessed it it were different prompts that i would use to assess larger models like llama 3.3 uh, claude or many of the other proprietary models and essentially 5.4 the 14 billion parameter model was capable of outperforming all the answers that i had asked it to generate on and it was able to provide the correct answer for all of them which is just incredible and it shows how powerful this model is in terms of its capability and in terms of its size if you like this video and would love to support the channel you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different ai tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily ai news and exclusive content plus a lot more i truly recommend that you try this out because this is a lightweight model that you can install locally and you can even install different quant methods to get the best uh out of this model and it's something that already has 72,000 downloads which is just insane it's a local model that's open source and it's something that you can get started with completely for free as it's under the mit license so i'll leave all these links that i use in today's video in the description below but thank you guys so much for watching guys make sure you follow me on the patreon follow me on twitter so that you can stay up to date with the latest ai news as i'm constantly posting about the latest uh introduction of ai tools here and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please turn on your notification bell, as well as taking a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you fairly soon. Peace out, fellas.